Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today it's time for another perfume review and it's the turn of Marc Jacobs' Daisy Love. So Marc Jacobs' Daisy was released in 2007. It has been a consistent bestseller ever since. Primarily, in my opinion, because the bottle has a massive plastic daisy on it and the sort of five-year-old child inside of everyone wants to go and touch it and feel it and wants it on their dressing table. So I think as that combined with the fact that the daisy smell is quite simple, um, you know, difficult to dislike, everyone likes daisies, right? Um, it's just been a really good seller. Um, so Daisy Love has been released recently and this has a very similar bottle, it has just one big massive daisy on it and it's a little bit sort of shorter and fatter than the original daisy bottle. Um, the smell isn't as similar to daisy as I expected it to be. There's been lots of different versions of daisy released since the original and they've all been very similar. Um, this one is a little bit more different. So I'm wearing it and I have it here on a card. The primary note in this fragrance, and it is a very simple fragrance, I think there are only four different notes in it, four different ingredients, um, and the primary one is something called cloudberry, which is not a fruit that most people are familiar with. Um, it kind of looks like a mixture between a blackberry and a raspberry, but it's like an orangey yellow colour. Um, so the main note here is effectively a fruity note. And it does smell sweet. I would liken it almost to apricot or peach in terms of what that smells like. And then what they've done is underneath that, they've put in some uh, like daisy notes, as you would expect, and also a kind of musky undertone. So for me, this smells a bit older, a bit more sophisticated than original daisy, which is basically just like. I smell like a daisy, I smell like a daisy. Um, this one is slightly more complicated. Um, and essentially, this has been on here quite a while now, it just, it kind of smells like a bit like an apricot, musky apricot, I would say now, is what it smells like. So yeah, quite different to original Daisy. I can imagine that if you had Daisy when you were maybe like 12, 13 years old, you might now gravitate to Daisy Love when you're like 16, 17, 18 perhaps. It is probably a little bit more aimed at the older market. Um, according to their like press release and stuff, it's aimed at millennials. Um, so that's anyone born in the 80s or 90s. Um, and I can see that. I think, again, this will probably do well because of the bottle. People love the bottle. Um, I find it a slightly bizarre fragrance. Um, I don't really know who would love this, you know? Whereas Daisy, I can imagine people would love it because that smell is just so fresh and happy. This is a wee bit more serious, which means which doesn't really match the bottle, which is very sort of happy-go-lucky plastic daisy. Um, and I guess the main negative, as with all the Marc Jacobs perfumes, is that they are not known for lasting. This one is no exception. I can't really smell it on me anymore after just an hour or so. And I think they are made by a sort of cheaper manufacturer and that does come out in the fact that they don't last very well. So I think this, like my opinion of all the Marc Jacobs perfumes is that there is a big element here of style over substance. So a lot of the effort has gone into the designing of the bottle and the marketing and the branding and the fragrance itself is kind of like an afterthought because they know people aren't gonna buy it for the smell. Having said that, I think this would be a really cute gift for you know, a niece or um, a sister or, you know, someone who is in their sort of late teens, perhaps early 20s, I think, you know, they'll love the bottle, so it's quite a safe gift in that respect. So that's it from me. I hope you found this review useful. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and check out some of my other reviews. But um, that's it for me, so thank you so much for watching and bye for now.